Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogly's Guitar Show. We're drifting off into PRS territory again today with a Mark Tremonti signature guitar. Now, there's been many, a, many, a, many, a, many a different versions of this guitar in various finishes, but a fan of the show sponsored this review through a new Guitar Day purchase. You can find out more information on my website if you'd like to sponsor your own review and demo. But this guy, Mark Tremonti, let's learn a little bit about him while we unbox this guitar. Alright, so Mark Tremonti, he looks like this. He is like a metal and heavy rock player. He was part of the founding members of the band Creed, and he also played with an altar bridge. Some songs you might know of Creed if you're not familiar with the band, which a lot of people are, like Arms Wide Open, My Sacrifice. They all had extensive radio time, but they also did a whole bunch of other stuff too. And from Alter Bridge, Miles Kennedy, he was the singer. He has a very unique voice. I personally like him. And he also worked with Slash, but we're talking about Mark Tremonti today. So he also has his own band called Tremonti. But he's collaborated with other artists like Seven Dust, all the way to Larry the Cable Guy, apparently. <laughs> so he's got PRS SE signatures from $6.99 till about $8.50. He has the full-on PRS USA made stuff from $4,000 to about $5,000. He even has some signature amps. You can even buy his signature pickups from PRS. They're $170 a pop. So let's go ahead and open this one to see which version I got. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> that is way nicer than I was expecting. Like, holy cow, PRS. That is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> they told me it was going to be nice when I asked them if I could purchase one of these things. And part of the reason why this thing is just so absolutely beautiful is this was one of the 10 top versions. You have to pay a premium to get a 10 top. And in PRS territory, as far as I'm aware, 10 tops, they get marked on the back with a 10, so you know, but that's like the nicest wood choices that they had available at that point in time. And this thing, it looks really great because it almost gives the illusion that we have gold hardware here. And you kind of do, but you don't at the same time. It's a mixture between it. So like our neck pickup, we have golden pickup pole pieces, but the cover itself, it's kind of hard to tell in the lighting. I think it's chrome. <laughs> I'll have to check it on the workbench. But you can see the pole pieces right here, gold. This is a mixture. You've got the brass saddles. Like one of the studs is gold. The other one kind of looks like a dull gold. Man, I don't know if it's just the lighting in this room. But that finish really plays off well. You got those like bourbon style knobs. That's what it looks like. Or whiskey. I don't know. I don't drink. <laughs> but even our tuners kind of have a mix match thing. Awesome, and like a rosewood headstock veneer. This is a really nice looking single cut. So you can find single cuts like this one all in various colors. You can kind of see them here. So if you like Mark Tremonti, or even if you don't like them, there are so many different color options, figured woods. I mean, you can see them here all on the screen. But on top of all that, I really like these bird inlays on this particular one. I think all the other PRSs that I've had on the show before, they were just like standard birds. This is like a, a mixture of like a plastic material and mother of pearl. That looks really nice. It looks like we even get the faux binding by just exposing the maple cap. This is a really nice looking piece. So cosmetics aside, you know, this is very familiar territory for me because it's a single cut. It's basically PRS's version of a Les Paul, but they have some modernized appointments to it. Like you actually have a comfort cut on the back here. Not heavily exaggerated or anything, but then your heel join kind of gets sculpted just a hair right there to kind of make it easier to play in the higher registers. Yeah, you can definitely get everything effortlessly up here. They've got that little swoop. I mean, there's no official binding. It's just the maple cap exposed, which is a really cool cool look but there's no binding on the fingerboard either some guys will like that some guys won't like binding looks cool in my opinion but if I was getting a player's guitar I would almost prefer not to have it because sometimes you can get issues with binding but generally the higher end Gibsons that I uh, review and demo they'll just have it but then it's very unique how they do the satin headstock here but I think to learn more about this beautiful guitar, let's go ahead, throw it on the workbench and take an individual look at its parts and specs. 
Let's go ahead and take a look inside this PRS. So now on the workbench, I hope you guys can see. I know I've been on the record many a times as saying the pinstripey flame is not my favorite, but when it has so much movement and 3D figuring to it, that's when it just comes to life. Like, I think I just really love this finish. And in case you want to order your own PRS, I don't care what model it is. This finish is called McCarty Tobacco Sunburst. And if you don't know, McCarty refers to Ted McCarty, you know, the original president of Gibson at that point in time, and the person who helped develop a lot of these models that we love and worship yet today, so they kind of pay tribute to that. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. Our pickups are Tremonti signatures. So our neck pickup is labeled Tremonti Base, because it's your base pickup, and just has a brass plate here labeled PRS USA. And then I particularly like what they called the bridge pickup. Tremonti treble. <laughs> when I first took a look at it, I thought it said Tremonti treble. <laughs> I love that. That's just kind of funny, but it looks the same as the neck pickup. But you'll notice the neck pickup is covered, and that is a chrome cover with the gold screws, as I was telling you earlier, but the bridge pickup in all of his signature models are uncovered. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a PRS pickup uncovered. It's very blocky. It's not as rounded as like many other humbuckers are, but that's just kind of how PRS does their stuff. Like you can even notice the pickup rings are a lot more rounded. There's less of an edge to them. Some other things I pointed out in my PRS reviews before, like the height adjustment screw is actually recessed inside of it. That way it's not catching your hand or whatever. PRS is good at taking like the regular elements and just advancing them a little bit. Now, whether you like the stylistic choice of that or not, that's up to you. Like it's taken me a while to kind of warm up to some PRS elements, but after you play them, there are some very good ones, even if you're just, you know, traditionally like a Gibson Fender type guy. Because Paul Reed Smith, my favorite thing about this company is the guy himself right here is still with us and he's still very active in his company. He's a very smart man outside of just guitar stuff too. So as far as our pickup cavities here, I know the PRS guys always like to see their signatures in the reviews and demos. So we'll take some time to highlight that. It looks like maybe a TL and a PG, and some other stuff. And there's just a whole bunch of writing in this one. Three, four, seven, eight, four, zero. Not sure what all that means, but it's just various parts of people working on this guitar. Here's what the neck cavity looks like. You can see the neck extends all the way into that cavity. So it'd be a long neck tenon. And the routing work looks really clean. The only thing that kind of muddies this up is, you know, all the different stickers that they have while, they, uh, while they're making the guitar. Sometimes they leave some residue. But very cool. I'm curious how much these are going to read. Because Tremonti is kind of a, a heavier style guitar player. So let's see. Bridge pickup. Yep, that's hot. 16.67k ohms. What's our neck? More traditional. 7.6ish. So this should be fairly familiar sounding. The studs do appear to both be gold. I don't know what it is about the lighting situation in that other room. You can kind of see it here. But that one's definitely a little bit more shiny. Like maybe this one didn't get fully plated. Like you can even kind of see what I was talking about right here. But it kind of matches with the whole gold chrome that they've got going everywhere here. You, you might have noticed this does not have a regular bridge and tailpiece set up. It's a combination of the two. Now in this lighting, you can clearly see that's all chrome and then you get the brass saddles. They're very large. Brass is well known for sustain and helping the notes ring. But it's a combination of a stop bar tailpiece and the bridge itself just all in one unit. It's very classy looking. You know, there's many different ways to do this, but this is one of the better looking ones in my opinion. So you can actually have adjustable intonation here, but you can also still do the traditional, you know, back and forth sideways to get it close enough before you do that. Now you're either gonna like that or you're not. I feel wrap tail pieces definitely have a certain feel to them, but you might prefer a bridge and tail piece setup. Like you could check out a McCarty model. We've reviewed one of those before that can have that. Or if you'd rather have a trem for your Tremonti, they also have those. I'm very happy this new Guitar Day purchase was for that version. <laughs> That's what I like out of PRS anyways. But let's move on to our controls here. Once again, beautiful whiskey ambered over knobs. They're really cool. They've got the black in it. And then it's just kind of an amber colored for the rest. It matches perfectly with this finish. Like this looks really, really dark, right? But then you still get this like ambered over part right here before it goes into the sunburst. You've got pretty much the same stuff going on here. One thing that did kind of catch me off guard when I started to play this guitar, 
This is the neck volume and the neck tone. And this is the bridge volume and the bridge tone. So I'm used to these being the volumes and then these being the tones. So that, that took a little bit for me to get used to. But this is just how PRS does their layouts and regular toggle switch location on this one. And there's no fancy electronics on this one. I mean, that doesn't mean PRS doesn't do that on certain models, but there's no push pulls, no coil taps, coil splits, anything like that. Just regular humbuckers today. But let's take a second to look around the faux binding as we call it. It's just the maple cap exposed. They don't actually put any plastic material around here. Now, sometimes you can see like a lot of flame figuring within here. This example, as far as that goes, it's kind of plain. It's not the best one I've seen. But as you can tell, it is a very nice top. It's just you don't see it in the end grain or whatever you call this stuff. But it is like just a, a nice natural wooden binding. It looks nice. But then once you get up here, they stop doing that in order to do this cutaway. And I think that's the reason they don't do traditional binding because, I mean, it would just look weird when you drop it off there. So masking it off works. It's just a PRS element. And as far as construction, very traditional today two-piece maple top with a mahogany body, non-weight relieved, mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard. We've got 22 medium jumbo frets with our bird inlays. Here, I'll take a second to show you what I was talking about when I unboxed it. So we've got like the regular white plastic material that some of the lower end ones come in, and they're using that as an outline before they put the rest of the inlay in. That's, that looks nice in my opinion. It really takes it from, okay, there's birds on my guitar to, oh yeah, there's birds on my guitar. Let's go ahead and grab our neck dimensions though. So we've got a pretty skinny nut width, 1.68 inches. And then by the 12th, it measures 2.07. Not the widest in the world right there. So first fret neck depth, we've got a 0.85. And then by the 12th, wow, 0.91. This is a rather thin neck, but very rounded. They call this one their thin pattern profile. Here it is at the first fret and the 12th fret on the contour gauge. Starts off a little bit small but rounded, but then just widens up a hair, not by a lot. As far as the fretboard radius, it's a little bit more rounded, a 10 inch radius. And there's no binding on the side as we were talking about earlier, but nice and rolled edges. They're not sharp or anything like that. And as far as our scale length, PRS does 25 inches. And that's right on the dot. So in between Gibson and Fender, Gibson being 24 3 quarter, Fender being 25 and a half. And then I was reading on the spec sheet for the nut, a synthetic bronze blend nut. I'm not really sure what that means, <laughs> but it just looks like a regular black nut, but it has some metallic attributes to it when you just catch it in the light just right. All I care is that it works and sounds good. Moving on to the headstock, you can see the golden tuner tips here, and then you get the golden shaft, but then your posts right here are actually chrome. There's other manufacturers that do that too, but this is a satin headstock because they put the rosewood veneer over top of it, or at least something that looks very similar to that. I love PRS rosewood necks. Unfortunately, this is not one of those. It's just mahogany, but you can see your truss rod channel in here and the rod itself. And the cover itself reads Tremonti, and it's the only thing that has his name on it. This is a metal cover, but that's what I like about this guitar. I don't care if you like him or not. It's just a nice looking guitar. It's very nicely specced. It doesn't have his name plastered all over it. You could swap that truss rod cover off. I think that's why this model has been in production for so long and has had so much success. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could quite literally just flip it upside down. <laughs> Now here on the back side, I know it looks black, but it's not. It's just like a really deep brownish red color. You can kind of see what I'm talking about here when it's not reflecting my ceiling. <laughs> but it still acts just like a black back because you get all the fingerprints and smudges just from barely touching this thing. But let's go ahead and take a look at our controls here. All hand wired pots. Now the cavity is a little bit oblong shaped to match the new layout style that they use on these but everything looks of high quality components in here. Solder job looks okay. Good wire management as well. I like how they've kind of uh, capped that off to, you know, make this look a little bit more neater. But you've got your output jack on the side. That looks like a nice brass metal block right here. The only thing I don't love about PRS guitars are their strap buttons. I mean, they're nice and secure, but you have to put your strap on it first. <laughs> And sometimes that can be a bit of a pain. But here's what our toggle switch cavity looks like. They've got like a three leaf clover going on. And that's pretty cool. You can see the flame figuring on the other side too. 
But as I was telling you earlier, you do have a, a little bit of a comfort cut back here. Not giant, not really angled, just enough so you're not resting against an edge. And we already kind of talked about the heel. I'm not noticing any issues of her playing all the way up here, setting that construction. Everything's looking good here. So bringing us to our headstock. Kind of a cool vintage design here. You've got the exposed gears and then two mounting screws for each. And they, oh wow. <laughs> they took it even a step further for the gold chrome combinations by having the gold gears right here. But here's the serial number for this one, 2021 model, the number itself, and the 10 once again signifying a 10 top. And these are actually PRS's generation three locking tuners. So instead of a gear on the back, you lock it down up here with a coin or whatever you have that's flat. And then that locks it into place. All said and done, this thing weighs eight pounds, five ounces. That is really light for a single cut style guitar that has no weight relief and looks like this. So let's go ahead, plug it in and see how it sounds. So far, I'm impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and run through our tones. But you gotta remember, it's volume, volume, tone, tone, instead of volume, tone, volume, tone, like you're used to. <laughs> Starting with our neck pickup, we'll just do a simple riff and compare them. Now we'll try our chords. So far, not in love with the tones of this. I mean, they're nice, but I was kind of hoping for something just a little bit more bassy, I think. But sometimes guitars like these come to life when you throw some distortion. Let's go ahead and try that.
Now that we know all about this PRS signature guitar, what are my final thoughts on this thing? Absolutely stunning. Love all the appointments, love the cosmetics of this. But for me personally, I, I didn't really enjoy the pickups out of this one. I'm sure it more suits Tremonti's style and I don't necessarily have his same amp set up. But as far as the looks department, yeah, this is great. It's a super comfortable guitar. It's very geared towards the player. So no complaints in that aspect, but I'd probably swap out the pickups for something different. But that's just me. Your results may vary. I didn't see any QC things with this one, so not much else to talk about. Just a beautiful guitar from PRS. So if you're interested in checking one of these out, you can find them at any dealer near you. This is a new guitar day purchase, so no, you can't buy this one afterwards. It has to go off to Australia. All right, troglodytes, thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.